In September 2023, New Jersey officers responded to a call involving a car collision where a woman had apparently slammed into a truck. When the officers arrive on scene, they find a female suspect barely conscious behind the wheel of her vehicle. What they discover next is completely shocking. What does that mean? Five or six. Five or six? You can't make this stuff up. Miss, open the door. Step out because your car's smoking. You okay? You okay? Why don't you step out? Get me itself. Is that something to step out? Uh, yeah, can you? Central, get me a rig and start Bergen Brookside, please. What happened? I'm already getting you in a rig. I'll get you in Have you been drinking tonight? You have? Okay. Why don't you stand back here for me, okay? The driver does not appear to be injured and immediately admits that she has been drinking. However, she may be in shock and perhaps injured internally, which may be causing her current state of behavior. Nonetheless, the officer will find out soon enough. Two toes. There's only one toe at this time. Where are you coming from? Um, how much did you? How much you have to drink today? Three drinks. Three drinks. Okay. Where's your license? Um, in the. The woman's speech is extremely slurred, and the officer has reasonable suspicion that the woman is heavily intoxicated. Unlike most drivers who are stopped for DUI, this woman is completely honest about her alcohol consumption and doesn't try to convince the officer that she is not drunk. So what happened? I literally, I parked because I had to do work on this pole. Or yeah. I was going to check to see if I need to do work on this pole. Yeah. I got out. I saw her coming and not stop, and I had to jump out of the way because like, I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. I jumped, and she hit me. Okay. I shut the car off. Miss. Miss. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Okay. Could you come and uh, stand over here, please? Can you lean off the car, please? Sorry. Okay. And then... How much have you had to drink? Four or six drinks. Four? Five or six drinks. However, what, what does that mean? Five or six. Five or six? What kind of drinks? Vodka, cocktail drinks. Vodka and cocktail. Given the way the woman is behaving, it is likely that she is very close to the truth as far as how many drinks she had and also the type of alcohol that she consumed. Compared to beer, which contains about 5% alcohol, vodka has a standard alcohol concentration of about 40%. No beer. Are you injured at all? What's it? What's, what hurts? My leg. Your leg? Your leg hurts? Yeah. Okay. Um, there. Could you see my finger? Yeah. Could you look at my finger? Yeah. Look at it? The tip of the finger? Yeah. No, we're good. She's going to go to the hospital. Yeah. Um, where's your uh, license, the vehicle registration, and insurance in the car? It should be in the glove passenger seat. Okay. Where you're heading now? You're going the wrong direction. You got lost. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you're drunk. Uh, um. Do you want to sit on the curb? Yeah. Okay. Give me a second. Let me put this glove on and I'll have you grab my name? hand. Grab my hand. Come sit on this curb. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Sage, can you sit up? Try to sit up. Grab my hand. Let's sit up. Uh, 
Just sit up. I don't see any uh, marks on it. Perfect. Did you have nobody else to give you a ride or Uber? Mm. No? Do you have the Uber app? I do. Okay. So that's all right. Yeah. All right. Was the was bar in Pearl River? Yeah. Pearl River Saloon? Yeah. Yeah? All right. In many states, including New Jersey, there are laws in place that address the negligent service of alcoholic beverages, commonly referred to as overserving, which can carry civil liabilities. In New Jersey, the law is referred to as dram shop, which basically says if a bar or restaurant has served a customer to the point of intoxication and that customer then caused a drunk driving accident, then the bar or restaurant may be legally liable. Were you on the rooftop or the first floor? The rooftop. The rooftop. Were you with friends? Yeah. yeah. What happened to your friends? Why didn't they drive you? No, they actually all stayed. They all stayed? Okay. You were the only one? Perhaps the people that the woman is referring to are not really friends. It is incomprehensible that friends would let those that they care about drive away so intoxicated. Although there are laws in New Jersey that are targeted toward passengers of vehicles that allow another person to operate a vehicle while intoxicated, there are currently no laws that address non-passengers. If such a law existed, where friends and relatives could be held liable for allowing someone drunk to get behind the wheel, these types of scenarios might lessen. I have them come right here. EMTs arrive on the scene to check for injuries and determine that the woman should be transported to the hospital. She is so intoxicated and unable to walk straight that the use of a gurney is required to load her into the ambulance. The woman was subsequently tested further and taken to jail. She was charged with careless driving, traffic on marked lanes, reckless driving, driving under the influence, and delaying traffic. What do you think of this arrest? Do the charges fit the crime? Be sure to comment your thoughts and for more true crime related content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one.